Hi everybody, this is Dave Magadan for Inside Baseball and I'm going to talk to you a little bit about what I feel is the proper way to receive balls at first base. There's a lot of different variations of it, but to me after all, you know, eight, nine hundred games of playing first base in the big leagues, I think that uh, this worked the best for me and hopefully it'll work for you. I know there's a lot of different ways, a lot of uh, uh, first basemen do it differently. Uh, I was a fan of always having my right foot on the bag with the ball on my foot and my toes off the bag so that when I went out to stretch for the ball the only thing that was on the bag was my was the ball on my foot and the and my toes really really the ball on my foot is the only thing on the bag that way it looks like I'm gonna get my heel run over but when I go to stretch my heel comes off the bag and the only thing touching the bag is the ball on my foot and I wanted to get myself I know a lot of first basemen want to put both feet on the bag to me, that's not a real athletic position, having your feet that close together. So I always pivoted on my, with my right foot, put my other foot about shoulder width apart so I can move to either side. Whether the throw was way over here to my right, I can move to the back of the bag and catch the ball. If the throw was up the line, I can move to this part of the bag and catch the ball to the inside part of the line or the inside part of the field. And obviously, if the throw's perfect, I can stretch out and catch the ball that way. I always felt like I wanted to catch a ball with my, with my glove hand extended at the furthest point. I did not want to catch a ball in my body. I know a lot of times you can do that because you got plenty of time, maybe a ground ball to the pitcher and the guy's halfway down the line. But when it's a throw for many of my infielders, second, short, and third, I always felt like I wanted to maximize and catch, catch the ball with my arm extended and, and cutting the distance off of the throw in case it was going to be a close play at first. Um, the only time I really put my left foot on the bag was if, if it was a situation where a runner at second, uh, two outs, ground ball to one of my infielders and they make a bad throw maybe to my right and I want to make sure and keep the ball in the infield to not let that runner score. A lot of guys try and pick that ball and sometimes it's more important to keep the ball in the infield and not allow that runner to score. And, and when I did that, if I was in this position ready to field, I, I, I read the ball, it's going to be in the dirt to my right, and then I can shift over and block the ball if I have to. And that was really the only time I did that. The only other real, real time that I would do that is maybe a bunt in front of the plate and the catcher's making the play and I want to give him a good inside target and I know it's not going to be a close play. I go ahead and give him the inside target with my left foot on the bag. If I, know, if I feel like it's going to be a close play, I would go ahead and, and field it like I normally would for an infielder and I could create enough space for the runner to come by and me still be able to stretch and make the play. Uh, I know it's not as nice of a target for the catcher, but we're trying to get this guy out, and if I can cut off three, two, three feet, that's my goal because then I can make the guy out instead of him being on base. To me, the goal is, and I know you hear this talked a lot about in the NFL, is, is my catch range. If I can maximize my catch range over here at first, to me, that's a huge thing for my infielders. It gives them confidence that they can just throw the ball in a general area and I'm going to be able to field it. So if I can go from this area, making a play without coming off the bag, and then of course up above me and then working the back of the bag to make a play over here, you can see my catch area is pretty big. And me being six foot four, I wanted to give them that confidence that they can just get the ball in this area and I was going to be able to make the play. And that's ultimately the goal that you want, is to make the out. I want to take a second while we're talking about our, our movements around the bag to talk about how to get to the bag. I know a lot, of, a lot of kids, even I see major leaguers, they're afraid to take their eye off the hit ball. You know, ground ball to short, they're, they're, looking, they're tracking the ball all the way to short, and they're looking at the ball while they're trying to get to the bag. To me, the most important thing is Get to the bag as early as you can to give that infielder the proper target. If he's getting ready to throw the ball and you're still on the move, or worse, you're at the bag but you can't find the bag, you're kind of uh, 
like you're, uh, it's, uh, like you're uh, looking for a mine, you're back here trying to find the bag, uh, that's when a lot of times injuries happen. When you don't know where the bag is and you end up coming over here and you're looking for the bag and you end up putting your foot or even your, your calf in, in, the, in the base path and you end up, the, the, the batter ends up stepping on your foot, stepping on the back of your leg and if you know, you're playing a professional ball, they got steel cleats, it could, it could do some damage. So the proper way is I'm in position and I'm watching the ball being hit to my, say any of my other infielders and I've made the decision now I've got to go over here and cover first base. I've got to have the confidence that say the ball's hit to my second baseman, I've got to have the confidence to understand okay he's fielding it, I can turn my back to him and get myself in a good position and give him the best target I can for him to make the good throw to me. If I'm over here trying to follow the ball and I'm looking back at where the ground ball is and then that's when I'm going to start fishing for the bag. I'm not giving him the good target to throw over here at. Uh, and it doesn't put me in a good position to field bad throws either because I'm kind of on my heels. I'm still kind of moving towards the base. My ultimate goal is to get over here as early as possible, get myself anchored and ready and anticipating a bad throw and that at all good first basemen when when they're over here they're anticipating a bad throw and that's the way you have to be over here to be ready for anything that can happen